Thanks everyone for sticking around for seven episodes now of Game Informer Super Replay of Tim, you got to stop that. It's freaking me out. Game Informer Super Replay of, <laughs> of Resident Evil. Uh, this is the classic edition again. Uh, I'm Andrew Reiner. We have Ben Reeves here. Here I am. Tim Turry, who is making Jill's hand flop around. Hello. And replacing Jeff Cork today is our other Jeff, Jeff Marchiafava. Yeah, one Jeff for the other, whatever. Jeff really got into this. He started role-playing this, and he injected himself with the T-virus. Yeah, and, he's uh, a mutant now. Yeah, he has a, a little face on his butt that uh, grew on his butt, so he's getting that looked at, and uh, oh, yeah, we yeah. think it's cute. We think it's cool. But uh, he wants it removed. He's so he, he's so self conscious about it. He literally about is a bunch butt, face, butt yeah. muncher now. Or oh. Butt faced. That's good too. That's a good point. I believe last time we left off, uh, we made a little trip to the library, and uh, we're we're going back there now um, because we missed a uh, set of magnum rounds, <clears throat> and we also missed um, this mo disc. We're gonna actually try to oh, save yeah, Chris. Oh yeah, Hold on, hold on. Oh yeah, that guy. Yeah. Okay. Where does the mo disc go in? Uh, it goes in towards the end, I want to say. Uh, or there might be these little readers. Hold on a second. I don't know what's up here. I need mo discs. This, I'm not heading towards the library, but I need to be up here. Oh, I'm already freaked out, Tim. <laughs> yeah, you missed all the zombies, Jeff. Oof. You know what? It's not as good as the acid rounds, but it works. And now I'm rocking... Regular explosive rounds, which I think will be pretty good against these guys. And then I switch to my shotgun for just regular. regular oh, zombies. do I get to toss it? Yes. Oh, that's good. Oh, man. The, yeah. Can throwing away time. a key ever be as satisfying in real life as this? Like, no. it's usually kind of melancholy. It means you're moving out of like a, a house or something. Or it's or, super frustrating because you need that key. Because you need it. Yeah. You Why know what? I, I did just away? throw away a key, guys. Did you? Yeah, we got the new elevator set up, which is all digital oh. security now. And, and uh, one of our uh, IT guys here said, "Just go ahead, go ahead and throw away that key." So I did it. That's uh, that's awesome. And well, I was reminded of this. That. You're supposed to t when you when you have a key that you don't need anymore, you're supposed to silently put it on someone else's keychain. That's, that's smart. So it just keeps growing. Oh, and they don't know what they're for. Well, at least you have more room for shotgun shells in your pocket, Reiner. S speaking of trash, uh, I think this is. So a little file that might give us some insight into a piece of trash that's part of the Stars Alpha team. Uh, ben Raves. You want to take oh, it away? Top secret. July 22nd, 1998. 2.13. Is that AM or PM? I don't know. <laughs> to the head of the security department, X day is approaching. Complete the following orders within the next week. Lure the members of Stars into the lab and have them fight the BOW in order to obtain data of actual battles. Bioorganic weapon. Number two, collect two embryos per bioorganic weapon. Type making sure to include all species except for the tyrant. Number three, destroy the Arkley lab, including all researchers and lab animals in a manner which will seem accidental. Mm. White Umbrella. Oof. Is that, is that a guy's name? I don't know. It must be a code name. Ben, I, I like that voice. That's a good name. That was good. That you was should a use good that voice. from now on. I would use that as your main. Well, that is that is my main voice. I just feel like <laughs> this is a better... I, I don't, don't like your alt, then. Go uh, with the main. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't like that one. <laughs> I like it. You're doing great. God God loves you. I love you. Come on. Everyone have fun. I was um, here, Tim. So this is a very simple puzzle. Uh, I wonder if you can even get it if you uh, just go like this. Okay. What's this? Is this just a deer? I don't know. Looks fine. Nothing Nothing important. <laughs> nothing major. Uh, if you head back down, you actually have to interact with a light switch, which there's light switches in the game that aren't interactive. Um, oh. And, and now you see it. And now I can get it. Look at that. We try to. Yes. Jill doesn't try. Look she, at that. She does. She just makes it happen. She do or do not. There is no I. I would Not sell anymore. that thing. You you'd, you'd get super rich off that gem. You think so? Maybe, yeah. Maybe it's just some sort of like uh, synthetic gem that has like chips in it. Also, did you see how large that light switch was? It was gigantic. It started <laughs> out big and got bigger. Like the size of her fist. Yeah. It's clearly like, well, nobody's going to know to flip this switch if we don't make it giant. That's true. Um, I actually think I have enough inventory space to, uh, to trek back. Because I think this is going to lead to the uh, back to the library, actually. 
because I'll get the Magnum rounds. Those will combine with my current Magnum rounds, and then I can pick up the Mo disc. And from what I remember, that's that's everything here right now. Cleared out those zombies because I have a lot of ammo. Oh do yeah, you think those herbs. White umbrella has anything to do with Walter White. Oh, oh. foreshadowing. You think yeah, so? I think it maybe definitely has something. Careful, yeah. we're not going to get into Breaking Bad spoilers, are we? I don't want to break open that can of worms. Oof! Wow. Breaking bread. Breaking breaking sure. Brad? Like Brad Vickers, the helicopter pilot? Mm. If you've seen Resident Evil Nemesis, he's breaking Brad. You should start a YouTube show, Tim. Uh, we talk about those hard questions. <laughs> I could just interview one of the creators of Resident Evil or something like that. Just interview the voice actor for Brad. Breaking Brad Vickers. All right. And then you're basically interviewing him until he breaks down crying. Oh, he's That's what it is. He's dead, dude. So you already did the interview. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. So we got the uh, the Magnum rounds. Tim, this music sounds very ominous. Yeah, it's it's big time ominous. What do you want? Is something bad about to happen? Uh, well, actually, we went through here and actually cleared out the zombies last time, but we didn't have enough space in our inventory, so that's why I'm back now. Just to get more ammo? Um, well, yeah, I need the Magnum rounds. Magnum is, like, probably the strongest weapon in the game, um, and it's going to make my life a lot easier later on. And then that Modisc is to free Chris Redfield later on. Which um, we pretty much have to do. Yeah, we don't know that he's captured yet, but uh, we need three of these discs. So that's Which, why. If you were playing this for the first time, you'd find this disc and you'd be like, I better take it. Like, because you take everything. Yeah. It's not like. I don't know, an MMO where you're, there's things you're not going to take. Generally, anything that's not health or ammo has some rhyme or reason to keeping the story going and, and unlocking things. But uh, I'm going to just check and see if I've missed anything in here. Um, What's the most stand for, Tim? I can't remember. Is It might be like mission order or something like that. Uh, I can look this up. Let me see. Maybe I can just uh, like examine it. Oh. Let me look. Seems to be a startup disc. Yeah, I don't know. Good, I'm useful again. Yeah. Okay. But it's not named after a guy named Mo. <laughs> it is not. <laughs> okay. I don't think there it is. It could a, be Mo's disc. I don't think there's a Mo in this this series. Unfortunately, I think there's room for a Mo. Mm. Um, we need Mo. Mo was a was a failed uh, change.org petition. Maybe it's shut the front door. What is it? According, okay, I don't know Microsoft if this wiki Office. is full of crap or whatnot. <laughs> ben Reeves, you're going to like this. The Modisc, also known as the Magneto Optical, ah. <laughs> is a form Magneto? of information disc used by Umbrella. Wow. Oh, so it's specifically for Resident Evil. Yeah, which uses lasers and electromagnetics to read its recording layer. Okay. It's common in Japan. So maybe it is a common thing in Japan. Okay, gotcha. Is Magneto a word other... Because I always associated with, you know, the X-Men villain. With Magneto. Right. <laughs> maybe I, Why wouldn't they call it the magnetic opera? Maybe they really like Magneto as well. Have you considered that? Magneto oranges. I don't know. All right. Let me put these all the way down here. Get that in there. Um, That's really far down, Tim. I got these... Do I have more? Man, I got a lot of Magnum rounds. We're doing okay. You should use this. Uh, use what? The Magnum rounds. I don't have a Magnum. <laughs> What's stopping you then, Tim? Yeah, good question. Magneto optical discs are a real thing. Like they're just a, that's the name of it. Really? Yeah. Man, were they named after Magneto, or was Magneto Ooh, named after them? Better have been. Magneto was old. I'm gonna update the Wikipedia page to say it was named after the X-Men character <laughs> Magneto. I bet Magneto, like that word, is probably probably like an older scientific word and someone at marvel read it and they're like that is an awesome name and the internet doesn't exist so i'm going to use it maybe but i mean that was back in the 60s and like these they didn't have magnets back be around <laughs> yeah it's true if i'm to believe anything that the insane clown passes said they uh, didn't have electricity we, yet we still don't know what magnets are all about yeah first used commercially in 1985 yeah has to have been ma named after magneto that's true. And look at it. How pretty Tiger it butt. is. Ooh, oh. yeah. Colt Python. Oh, sweet. You got the mag. Neato. That's right. 
That's right. Yeah, I that's got That's pretty neato, guys. Magnum neato. Well, that's pretty good, Ben. But I don't think I really I'm going to I'm going to hang on to this. I still got this bazooka going. Um I have a battery. We're we're ready to actually move on. I think we have everything we really need out of the mansion, save for some like scattered herbs and stuff. Like we're doing pretty good. You think we're going to finish it this episode? Oh no. But we could. Could we fight a snake? <laughs> Again, you want to just keep fighting the snake? Just snake it. Uh, yeah. I feel naked. Ben, for you, snake. let's go. Let's go find that naked snake. I want to make a belt. So, Tim, we've been getting <laughs> just... a lot of grief from people for not playing as Chris. Why is that? Because we had two playthroughs. Oh. Because we wanted to show the the, the difference yeah, between them. In right? comparing and contrasting, you do the same thing with like. You could do two run-throughs of one game and show Chris in one and, and Jill. Uh, basically, in order to compare these, you need to have the same playthrough. That's at least my theory. Yeah, it's, it's, I'm it's right science. Sound, yeah. Yeah. It's science, people. It is. It's, you know, I, I, I understand where people are coming from with that, but I got to disagree. Yeah, I do too. But to their point, maybe when we finish it, rather than doing rearrange mode with Jill or the director's cut, maybe we play as Chris then. Yeah, I thought about that. I actually had another idea that oh. I kind of want to keep it a mystery, like okay. what we're gonna do after this. Because I mean, there's always the oppor there's always the chance that like we just decide like, oh well, let's just keep playing remake until we finish it or something. And it'll be like one episode later. But I like the idea that we haven't decided yet, and at least of this recording. Um, and I have an idea actually, Reiner, that I forgot to talk to you about, um, which I think might be a cool option for for filling in some time. Well, it's mysterious, so it already sounds better than anything I've said. We play blindfolded. Uh, yes. Yes, that'd be terrifying. Um, I actually had, uh, yeah, because one of the things that might happen is if we finish one of them, let's say we started, like, that Chris playthrough. Oh, cram it. Uh, ah! ah! Tim, go! That's pretty good. Okay, we're fine. Oh, his yeah. arms blew off. That's the best. That's awesome. Uh, okay. Man, I shouldn't have taken this route. How's your health? It's yellow. It's okay. It's fine. Yeah. It's fine. It's yellow fine. It's fine. Uh, no, my, my idea is if we started a crisp playthrough, like how many people, including myself, would be so bummed out that we would just stop that crisp playthrough as well? You know what I mean? Like, yeah, mm, that's I'd a be good bummed. point. But I mean, we've seen, I mean, for the most part of the game, it's like 90% the same. Yeah. Wouldn't you say? It, it's very similar. I'm trying to decide which, which route is safer. So excuse me. Where are you going? Uh, I'm going to uh, the other wings save room and then... Uh, heading back outside in the sort of like foyer area. So be quiet. Sorry, guys. Got to listen for the hunter clicks of their feet. I don't hear anything, Tim. Oh, God, I think I hear it. Good. Hold on. That's Ben Ray's voice. Maybe it's a clicker from Last of on. Us. Is he going to jump around the corner? Oh. I don't think he's here, Tim. I think I chose the right route. Oh, nice. Unless I... Did I clear that out or something? Unless he's hiding behind a lampshade. <laughs> I could have cleared that out and totally forgot. Wait, no, I did. I killed these hunters up here too, didn't I? Uh -huh. I think you're good. Yeah, okay. All right. Phew. Well, that was a nice little surprise. Phew. Remember how you used to pronounce few? Like, phew. Like few. You said hue. Phew. Hue? Yeah, you would just go hue. Hue. Like a sneeze? Yeah. Do you remember that conversation? I don't know anyway, what you're that, that promise that happened. No. Um, that never happened. Since I'm here, I'm actually going to reload my grenade launcher. I'm hesitant to like. What do you think is better to carry around, like shotgun and shotgun shells, or grenade and grenade rounds? Uh, I think a uh, grenade launcher and shotgun shells. Yeah. You think so? Or shotgun shells, actually, shotgun and grenade launcher rounds. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take that. And I'm going to take my other explosive rounds because I just have a, I have a lot of these. And I'm going to start carrying those around because here's my logic. I'm going to lay it all out here. I have a feeling I'm going to be fighting a few more hunters uh, coming up here. And the shotgun's just there so I don't have to waste a grenade round on a zombie. And if you do encounter a zombie, what are the odds I encounter seven more zombies on the way to the next storage box? What are the odds? It, it's one shotgun shell per zombie. Sometimes you can get a twofer. You're not going to take uh, eight zombie lane on the way, are you? <laughs> oh, my God. Well, God God help me. If I if I do take eight zombie lane, I hope that I can at least dodge one of those bastards. Oh, okay. What are we doing? 
I think you're good. Is there a, I can't remember if there's a hunter or dogs out here now. Yeah, I love the stuff that's kind of gray in my memory, like... Like everything else? Yeah. Because other than Resident Evil? Yeah. <laughs> everything in life. Oh, boy. Oh, got him. Oh, oh Tim. <laughs> Oof. Got his arms. That, I don't like that wow, sound they made. Isn't it terrifying? You yeah, know I don't what, like it. You know why that's terrifying is because oftentimes it's the last thing you hear right before you are being decapitated. It is the worst. You're fine. What do you think he's saying? Uh, I'm going to murder he's you, saying, Jill Valentine. <laughs> he's saying, Hugh. Hugh. <laughs> Hugh. Oh, I want to point out that last time on the last episode, we had a little secret stairway down here that led to a different point. That's true. On the remake. Or something. Yeah, yeah. Oh, exactly. Yeah. I mean, the crank was right is right there in the original. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, like going to play the remake, you know where to look for the crank. Totally. But instead of a shelf... It is a stairway that leads to this creepy outdoor area and a new character that's like guarding the crank with her mm. life. Uh, I just think that's a cool like sidestep. So Fava, there were several steps. Yeah, sidesteps. Uh, Sorry, yeah. Jeff Marky Fava. What's your history with this game? With this one, uh, the first the first Resident Evil I played was Resident Evil Two. What? And I've gone yeah. back to this one a couple times. I've never actually beat it. Uh, um, so yeah. some of this looks familiar. Some of it. Is new. I those see, guys I remember though. Yeah, they're big jerks. jerks. Those pups. Yeah, yeah. I don't really mess with them. Uh, I could see it being really hard to go back to this after you played two. Yeah, yeah. You know, they're they're similar, but there's some nice little things that two does. Like, uh, I think that zombies take a similar amount of bullets, but they have like a staggering effect. That if you shoot them enough, that if you stagger them with like your handgun rounds. Um, you'll actually be able to run past them a little bit faster. I think just the basic tank controls are better. Um, yeah, two is just two is a better game, I think, objectively. Yeah, I think it's a little more action-packed, too. A little more action-y. Yeah. Did Which you I play can... Remake, Fava? Um, let's see. Did it, did it come out on Nintendo 64? It came, it came out, out on GameCube. On uh, GameCube and Wii. Those are the only systems it came out on. The, the N64 one that they got was Resident Evil 2. And the reason yeah. Resident Evil 2 came out on the N64 is because they were developing Resident Evil 0 for it, and they mm. wanted to catch people up in the series. Sorry, Ben, did I cut you off? You were still talking about 2. Oh, no, I was... Yeah, I was just finishing the thought. I was like, I could see the fact that Resident Evil 2 is more action-y. Could maybe really work for some people, like Jeff and his uh, action sensibilities. Yeah, that's why I played it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's it, it, kid. Do you remember it freaking you out? Uh, Resident Evil 2? Yeah. Yeah, it was pretty creepy. Was it, though? Yeah. Are you kidding? When well, you were a kid. I, I don't know. I feel like this is more creepy. Yeah, maybe it's a maybe it's creepier, but, I mean, they're both still creepy games. I still remember biking to the store and buying it and then biking back, and it was... Uh, oh, crap. You can do this. And it was, uh, it was Sundown. Oh, hey, hey, oh, hey guy. Right into well, that guy. Well, those camera angles don't help you. Um, and it was sundown. I remember just like playing it that night, and I think my parents were already in bed or, or gone. And Resident Evil 2 like, really did a number on me. Wait, it was. Where'd, where'd, your Tim, where'd your parents go, Tim? Uh, is, that, is that when they left you? They never came back. Yeah, well, they left me for a while. I told you about that in confidence, oh. Jeff. It was really well, sad. Well, these are the kind of things you have to talk about. Mm. They actually became zombies. Oh. In case people don't know what we're doing right now, besides expressing uh, the deepest secrets in our heart um, about our families leaving us, is I am closing off that gate so that the waterfall stops. Uh, and what happens is that old pathway is gone now, covered with water. But since you can now get to the lower part of the courtyard without the waterfall, you reveal a new little thing. What was behind the waterfall? We and you could go for a swim. We didn't know before. We, yeah. got, we got a cool FMV when we drain the water, but nothing when it fills back up. Yeah. It's disappointing. I know. Budgets. Uh, um, 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 oh, um, they're going to. Um, um, um. Okay, 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 okay. We're fine, we're fine, we're fine. We got it. Going to be tricks. Cut this way. Cut that way. You should play Madden. Me? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You should be How many, what, a sports athlete. What, what city are the zombie dogs from? <laughs> what team are they from? Or what city? The Hounds. Yeah. <laughs> the Hounds. Or, or what Hound state? Yeah. The Hounds? Okay. Houston? Connecticut. Unleash, Houston Hounds? Unleash the Houston Hounds. Or, or the Cerberus. Houston. Which, which actually sounds like a lacrosse team or something. Cincinnati. Cincinnati Cerberus. Or would that have to be like Cerberi or something? Hmm. Good question. Cerberize? 
Surprise! <laughs> that could be their chance. Surprise! They just jump out of the field. <laughs> surprise! And you could throw a surprise party. You could serve surprise fries. Oh! Boulder time, right? Yeah. I love how there's a typewriter down here. You know, right. I, I love I love this thing where like you just got done using a crank, and it's like, that's a hexagonal hole. And you may not have examined this crank it's square. to know that it's a square crank. And you say, well, what the hell? The hell, what the I, crank is how many on? cranks does this game need? Quick, they're yanking my crank. Crank in my yeah. Well, yanking. We my, were all getting there. Well, okay. So so now we gotta go this way. And we're in the caverns, which is kind of the cool. I always forget about this area when I'm thinking about Resident Evil, but there's some pretty major things that happen in here. Right now, I'm trying to see what oh, the original oh, use would have been. Oh. What good timing! A moment ago, I heard someone's voice coming from this hole. Let's go together since it's dark and we can't see very well. Okay, how are That's you? It's good logic. This is another thing. If I don't join with Barry, I think that increases the odds of him dying. Okay, let's go. Okay. And Barry's the best. I'm cover you. Let's so, hurry. so there's no reason to not join him. Hey, are you all right? I can go first if you want me to. I, I think this is. Uh, oh, man, it's probably what, better to I not have him go first, right? If you want to protect him. Um. Don't let him die, Tim. Or is it more? Would like, that mean? Would that mean if I didn't let him go first? Would that mean you don't I didn't trust him? Because that's a, that's what's being communicated here, right? Yeah. Is they're sloppily trying to imply that Jill knows that someone's a bad seed, and if she goes first, that means she does trust him, right? I think so. Because he'd Damn. be behind you. Yeah, I think you want him behind you. I don't remember that. It's more like you protecting it. I, I don't okay. even know. Let's go, Barry. I'm depending on you. Yeah, that sounded pretty good. That seemed trustworthy. Yeah. Barry, I also meant to say, I know it's been a while since we've seen each other, and this is a this is a hard time for us each. But if your feelings towards me changed at all, Barry, I just take no. What? Where are you going? I just wanted to talk to you about Barry. We're in this together. I Jill. thought you said we we're partners. Jill, I just can't do it. I'm sorry. I don't I, understand. I have a wife. I'm a young woman in her prime. I have, a, I have a child. I'm a master of unlocking. I have a beard. Look at your forearms, please, Barry. Jill, please. Don't now, put me through this again. Now where are you going to go? I know you have a family. And I know that you have this weird compulsion that when you get nervous, you just backpedal into a corner. Kiss him place. already! I, I, Ma! I, oh! I, I. Well, yeah. You made me do it! You made me do it, Jill! <laughs> Tim, do you always do this kind of fan fiction when you play this game? Uh, there's just not usually people around, yeah. Okay. Sometimes there's puppets. That's true. Uh, on Chris's playthrough... Hold on. On Chris's playthrough, there's a flamethrower. I don't think Jill gets it. She just doesn't get it. She just has no idea. Oh, yeah. This really area. really dark in here. Oh, is this that weird puzzle thing for the fuse? No, that's the remake. This is cool because that'll collapse into that will stack. Yeah. That's always nice. First aid spray. Screw that. Yeah, I'd say it's for the birds. I am going to not take that. Don't give it to the birds because... Or actually, that'd actually be kind of cool if you could, like, spray first aid on creatures and it would kill them because they're undead. Because they're, yeah. Oh, like casting heal on a zombie in yeah. Final Fantasy or something. Or using a phoenix down on that one boss and it, like, kills him immediately. I think it's, like, the Cosmo Canyon area or something. I do remember that secret. It's a cool idea. It's like the Mega Man tricks. Like, you always felt, like, super awesome when mm -hmm. you figured out, like, what to use on that boss to yeah. make it super easy. But it was like a part of the game, so you didn't feel like you were cheating. Right. Oh, man, I think we just took a circle. Uh, I think there's a secret... Yeah, there was another branching path. Okay, so we're good. Yeah, these caverns can get kind of... kind of wonky. So, Are there any enemies down here? Uh, hunt... Okay, well, there you go. Ask well, shall receive, Jeff. Um, thanks a lot. Nice. He's way better at killing those things than you are, Tim. Hey, he's got a magnum. I'm not oh. using my magnum yet. Hey, you want to bet? You think who do you think can take a uh, a hunter down faster with a magnum, Barry or me? Barry. What do you think, Jeff? Barry. Barry. Everyone thinks. Yeah, okay. All right. Well, you just wait. Let me get a magnum. Wait for what? Well, for me to get my magnum, and then I'll show you. Well, he already took down one, so Jill? you lose. Yeah. Is that voice on Rico's? <laughs> wait. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let me think about that for a second. <laughs> Wait a second. What? Oh, 
Oh, yes. Oh, man. He's from Bravo Team, one of the guys they were looking for. Enrico. Yeah? So, Barry and Jill together. Yeah, I would Are you all right, Enrico? <laughs> yeah, we got together. <laughs> she pushed me into a corner. <laughs> the stars are doomed. Someone is a traitor. I can't tell you who. Everything was plotted from the start by Umbrella. Spill your guts out. Oh, oh not that way. Oh. Not like that. Who? <laughs> Enrico! <laughs> yeah. Enrico! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so why kill him and not those two? Uh, well, I think it's a line of sight thing. Because, yeah, wait, was this, a, this is a dead end room. Hey, there's nobody else in the room, Tim. Enrico, I know that your only comfort in this world was your was your pet crank that you carried with you all the time, and I would never want to take that from you because uh, I knew that it helps you get through some rough times. But it's it's going to come down to that. Wait, that wasn't your crank. That's not your crank, Tim. Have you, what you played holding, this game Tim? before? Don't, don't hold out on me. Does Barry find it? I don't know. I thought that, I thought he did have a crank too. Just worthless handgun rounds. Um, man, I'm trying to remember where that comes from. Now I think, let's see. God, he's always investigating things. It's like he's cool. He should be a cop. Good for you, Barry. He should be part of like some special investigation force. <laughs> like a special tactics like a special, and rescue squad. Yeah, something like that. Something really cool. Oh, there it is. There you go. How'd you miss that? I knew it was around here. Enrico's <laughs> crank. That's that was the real killer. So that crank he was taken. I'm going to examine this right now so this doesn't get confusing. Zip. Look at that. Look at that hexagon. Hex crank. Oh, so when you picked up the original crank. Just said crank. Just said crank. You could have them both in your inventory, identical, and they both say crank. That's pretty awesome. I like they do that. That you check? Yeah, yeah, that you actually have to examine it. Use the crank on them. Crank it up, Tim. Oh! oh you really it's a bad shot. That. Too bad Barry's not here. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh Tim. Tim. Wow. They're hard. Tim, oh, there's, there's another, one. another one. Hold on. Don't die. Okay. I think he's still up. Oh. Uh, that went Oh. Wow, that was like 3D. That was really something. Where is Barry? I'm not going to say that I'm proud of my shooting there, but they're dead. So. Yeah, I mean, I guess. Okay, so that now works. I go back to the beginning. And now I can use the crank, which I think will lead to a storage chest. So we should be good there. Jeff, did you ever play the remake? You know, all of this is familiar, so I don't know what the heck I played and when I played it, but... Were you one of those guys that got to the last boss and then stopped? Maybe. I don't I know what the last boss. Hard. I can't remember what the last boss well, is. Don't, Tyrant. Don't spoil it. Well, his name is Tyrant. We might get to him. Well, here. now you just completely spoiled it. They mentioned him. We read a file about him. It didn't yeah, but say it didn't boss. say this is the last boss you're going <laughs> to fight later. Well, you could also play the entire game without. Well, you, they say his name. It's fine. All right. So now that we got the crank, we have to be careful because these boulders that we're going to deal with are. Uh, they're dangerous. They're one hit kill. They really one are. One hit wonder. Do you want to save there? Uh, I don't have an extra ink ribbon. But oh, that's right. Is I there one know. over on thing? Um, I don't know. But there's a point I want to save, and it's not necessarily right now. So what I deduced is this section of the mansion, the underground thing, this was all made by Umbrella. This wasn't like a part of it before, right? I mean, it seems pretty modern. All the doors, obviously this weird crank thing. I'm trying to think of what purpose it would serve um did this open up something over here i think i think um, that's the remake you're thinking of it, is that where is that what it is is it i think so i'm trying to remember what's did, yeah this is where the remake is playing games with me kind of is there just one boulder in the first one and there's two in the second in the remake i think I so remember i think so tim so okay. this is danger zone Okay. Oh boy. So hold on a second. What are you doing? Run. It's gonna start rolling towards him. 
Did Sorry. Are you facing it? Uh, I don't remember. Did you have to Too close! That? Oh, jeez. There it goes. Oh, oh, Tim. You better run. Get out of there! Woof! Whoa. Oh, why did she heal like that? That's so fast. Is she praying? Yeah. Oh, boy. Wouldn't you be praying in that instance? There's no atheist in a foxhole, they say. Oh. Uh oh. Uh. Too bad he couldn't get crushed by the boulder. No! Yeah! Nice there shot! I bet you're feeling a little bolder now. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm a, I feel like a bold looking old man. Stick your chest out. Stick your chest out. Is that your like hit hip hop single? <laughs> Stick your chest out. What? <laughs> it's my pickup line. Resident Evil pickup. He's a dead guy. Um, is this, uh, is this the room? Yeah, the uh, boulder created that passage, right? I'm like going it, for it. There's some Open spiders, it, Tim. Tim. Red rum. I'm going for it. Wish me luck, everyone. Oh, that doesn't sound good. It's oh, not. I don't even think you have Oh, man, I missed here. immediately. Oh. No, you might. Holy oh, hell. Oh, my God, Tim. Tim. This is really bad. You didn't save, Tim. We all warned you. Hold on. I'm not above some first aid spray in this situation. Uh, I'm going back for the first aid spray. Holy hell. You see, that's the thing with Jill is she's uh, fragile enough that like you can get taken down from yellow fine to danger just like that. Like she just needs to be held. Yeah. She's fragile. Gosh, that Shaking was. Shaking like a leaf. I mean, aren't we all pretty vulnerable when you, when you break it down? Right. When you break when down you're your health, a giant spider. Yes, I think. I don't even know. I would like to see what I would do in that situation. Um, You'd probably pee in your pants, Tim. No offense. Or maybe something else. In if your I, pants. I mean, if I had to pee, maybe. Uh, you might pour chocolate pudding down your pants. There is no chocolate pudding in that fridge. What? Is that a thing? Does yeah. that feel good? What? Oh, it's a Tommy. <laughs> I think it's. A, I think it's a black sheep reference. <laughs> huh. But it a, might feel good. Is that a thing? Is that something people do? I'll let you guys know tomorrow. Oh, ah! oh, Tim. oh no, 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 no. Kids these days. Oh, man. This place is dangerous. Uh, you're right. I don't know if you do need to fight that spider. But one thing I do know is that it's really going to be hard to take down that door, that door that's covered with um, spider webs without killing him. Yeah, you're probably right. So I'll take, I'll take the first aid spray. And you need the knife too, don't you? Well, I think you can actually shoot... To kill. Yeah, shoot to thrill, actually. Uh, you can shoot off the the webs somehow. But if I can if I can burn through my um uh, ammo. Yeah, and then equip the flame rounds, the flame rounds do better against the uh, the hunters. So I need to go this way, which is gonna loop into the hunter hallway. Don't wanna deal with them right now. If the worst case scenario I backtrack to the guardhouse. Oh, God. You can do Tim. this. Listen, listen, listen. I got it. But that's not where you want to go. We're good. Yeah, yeah, it is. This is back towards the uh, the boulder. Back towards the spider. Yeah. I, I'm going to try to fight the spider. So if I end up, again, like falling into danger, I can limp my way out of that room. You think so? Just fine. Yeah, yeah. Hey, man, don't worry about it. Uh, and if I, I'm going to check my health, and then I'll leave. Assuming that its babies don't kill me. I don't think we've seen you limping yet. No. She's pretty dramatic. Or is, did she do that in this one? I don't remember. I think so. Hold on a second. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> She's ready. Get that. Oh, boy. He's kind of cute. No, he's not. Ugh, oh, no, nice. he's got like mold on his butt. You don't want that thing in the corner? Hold on, that's just the knife. I like how they give you one just in case you didn't bring yours, because like who would have theirs at this point? Bah! Get out of there! Tim, I am. I'm working on it. Hold on. He's got to be so frustrated and dizzy. Oh, Tim. Oh, Tim. Hold on, what it's fine. are you doing? It's a weird angle. It's look a funny for, angle. Uh, look for Frodo when you're in here, too. There you go. Oh, it's going to explode. Wait, is he dead? What's his butt doing? 
There he is. There you go. Okay. That was weird. Was that going to explode with, like, baby spiders? Could be. That was scary, Tim. Is he breathing? Oh, God. Oh. What did he do? He just wet himself. Ah! Ah! <laughs> and so oh. they, it's no good. They disappear after that? That is no good. Yeah, it's that's the trick. Would they just have uh, popped out of his shaking butt? <laughs> popped out of his shaking butt? Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure. That's a good question. Man. I All had right. some uh, friends who lived in, I think it was Arizona or New Mexico. They were, we were really close. And uh, they found a cactus out in the field, and they're like, "Oh, that's cool. Let's bring it in." Oh no! And so they brought it into the house, and like a couple days later, it started shaking. Oh no! They're like, "That's super weird." And they were talking to their friends that night, like, "It's shaking. Is that weird? Is that something cactuses do?" And they're like, "Don't go back to your house. You call the uh, fumigator because it's like planted with like baby spiders." Like, fuck. What kind of spider? Jesus. Um, the big furry ones. Tarantulas? Like tarantulas, basically. Well, those no. are friendly. No, Ben. It wasn't a they. They brought it in, and it started shaking with spiders that were going to hatch out of the cactus. Like inside the cactus. And that, and they had, they just didn't go back to their house. They're like, "Don't go back to your house unless you have, like, John Goodman John from, Goodman. Go from Arachnophobia John Goodman. specifically. <laughs> Ask for him by name with a flamethrower." Is that what they did? So How? Yeah, what they, was they, the aftermath? They had to call the fumigator, and they were actually worried about their dog. Oh, oh my God. God! Imagine being that dog. <laughs> they eat the dog. How is it? Did they get home and like? Oh, the spiders are gone. They're fine. Like, oh, there was no, there was no spider problem. And then just like the next day, the dog, like the they leave the room. The dog is sitting in front of the fireplace, and it's a zoom in on it, away from the face, so that you no, don't notice how bad the prop is, and it starts shaking. I think I'm thinking of the thing, actually. Yeah. The scene where you finally realize that the the dogs are infested. How many spiders were in the cactus? Oh, I don't, I don't think they counted. I'm gonna look this up. Or they couldn't count because it was so many. <laughs> The spiders ate their eyes. That was the problem. Uh, yeah. uh, no, thanks. Don't tell any more stories, Ben. We've We're, had some really bad spider stories these yeah, last couple episodes. That's true. What is this? What has this done to us? It's a fascination. Um, you guys are all sick. Yeah. Sick of hearing about these spiders all the time. Sick like a fox. That's right. Okay. So putting this away. I still haven't used a first aid spray. Let's point out. Swap out for that. I'm going to put this next to... Why don't you save the game, Tim? Um, I'm not in any immediate danger anymore. So we're good. What's the least number of times you've saved and beaten this game? Zero. You played through the entire game without saving once. Yeah, for sure. How many hours did that take you? Maybe three. I mean, it's weirder when, when you're stopping and starting, like in, in this replay. Like, it's a little bit yeah, trickier. See that. Um, you want to bring that? Gosh, I have. Look at that. That's a lot of magnum rounds. Uh, I like to save them for the hunt for, for the last guy, but I really only need six. So maybe I could just start rocking this. Let's get, let's get dangerous. Um, Dark wing duck. Yeah. When you're in trouble, call DW. Um, Darkwing. Okay. And then I'm going to grab my... Where is that guy? What is this thing supposed to be, Tim? Did they ever explain in any of the games like what this little PDA thing is that she's carrying around? Oh, the heads-up display? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. <laughs> uh, it's the menu. This is where you go to But check it's got a little out. picture of her that she always just carries around a picture of herself. Yeah, she's a stars member. I don't know. It's it's a good point you bring up, but Tim, do you have any fears <laughs> of spiders perhaps? Anything? No. Do you have any ink ribbon? Uh, I have two. Which is more than enough to get us to the end of the game. So you just like run it and you just ah! why take oh, more Tim. than you need? Snakes. Yeah, I mean Oh, snakes everywhere, Tim. I know oh. I know that we don't need those. Yeah. For like ammo, you're like, oh, I'm going to hoard all this ammo. Yeah. Here. But for ink ribbons, you're just like, Pfft. Well, no, because I mean, we only save at the end of an episode anyway. You're an inkist. So. An inkist? Yeah. That's true. Wait, is this the other boulder room? Enough ink's been spilled on this. Uh-oh. Hold on a second. I remember how this uh -oh, one goes. Tim. Tim, I'm reading a story about a cactus that was bought in Minnesota that had spiders in it. How many spiders? Uh, 
No, you're not. You're just playing with me. No, in Dinky Town. Oh God, Dinkerton. Dinky Town. Yeah, Dinkerton, Minnesota. <laughs> what uh, What happened? What kind of spiders were they? Uh, I'm I'm still in this 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 story here. So what happened there is I need the crank in order to uh, to make that happen there. So what's going to happen is I'm going to get this crank and then rotate that so that I think it points to the left and then I can hop in there and uh, and get the other medallion. Tarantulas. There were tarant tarantulas in that cactus. I guess tarantulas are, are desert spiders, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And they're friendly, right? You can have them as pets and you have them climb them. on your shoulders they, and face. They're, they're not that poisonous, right? Well, I think that's the thing is like they're, they're more about like they're like brute force spiders, aren't they? Like they're not, they don't rely on a lot of venom to kill their prey. Yeah, they're like the Hulk of spiders. They rely yeah. on fear. They just squeeze you. <laughs> they just catch flies. I am and then not liking this conversation. Gives them a heart attack. And is this this is the way? What's well, more fitting for this episode, though, because we did see that giant tarantula. Yeah, it does make a lot of sense. <laughs> Ugh, don't look up pictures of tarantulas. Yeah, don't no, look why up are you pictures doing of that? any spiders. I'm looking for information. We're talking about it. I want to see if they are the brute force spider. I think the first time I tried to play this, I tried to like outrun the boulder. And I knew that since you could, um, like the game kind of stops for you sometimes if you pause or use an item, that I could get back to the, the crank hole and then twist it so that that pit was like at the bottom and then the boulder would drop through it. Uh -huh. She has no time for that. <laughs> she just is busy getting crushed oh, by really? a boulder. But it is always, it's always weird when you're staring down the face of like instant death in a game, even if it's something you've played a lot and you're feeling really confident about it. Like what if it is to the right? You could have run into the right, couldn't you? Yeah. So that's the thing. I, I don't even know if I need to go back there. The, the thing is, there's is, probably it, stuff back there. If you don't open up, that little passageway there is not enough room to uh this is the one that asked for the square crank also is it okay good um where is that, where is that again so tarantulas are venomous <laughs> but there are no uh recorded uh incidents of a fatality from one of their bites really That's yeah maybe they just didn't know the the code for the fatality Oh, yeah, that could be. Yeah. Or the range you got to put it in at. That's, That's true. usually what trips people up or tarantulas up. When you have to start entering it? Mm-hmm. Tarantula wins. Uh, yeah, you know, that'd probably be a really good way for me to, like, help get past a fear of spiders is to have tarantulas have climb all over your naked body. Games? I've thought about that. Actually, it's called, it's called um, like... Uh, exposure therapy, kind of, right? You know, like, you, even if I get bit by a spider, even if it's a poisonous one, I'm probably okay. I'm probably not going to get necrosis and die. There's usually antidotes. Um, and if you get bit, your reaction will probably be to throw it off you and kill it. Yeah. And that's kind of therapeutic as well. That does. That is nice. But, I mean, I figure if I just had, like, a spider that wouldn't kill me, crawl on my arm, and if it bit me and I was fine, then... Wouldn't my fear maybe subside a little bit? I used to have like a decent fear of heights when I would go rock climbing, and then you kind of, by necessity, can't be afraid of heights when you're doing that. Right. Well, okay. do we want this to happen, Tim? Should we set this up? I think yeah. we should do it, Tim. Someone should send Tim oh, tarantulas no, 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 in the mail. No, 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 no. I'm comfortable no, 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 no. with hypotheticals. Well, that's illegal. What I'm saying is have like a professional spider handler. Is that oh. a thing? <laughs> we could get yeah. like the, uh, what's the guy's name? Jack um, Sparrow. He's always on like the talk shows or he was always Black. on the talk show. It was uh, Jack Hanna. Is he the guy who would always come on like is David Letterman and stuff and like Han I think he got bit to death by spiders. <laughs> oh, oh, that's right. You're thinking of Hanna Barbera. That's super harrowing. Thing. But we could record that, Tim, and, and for all to see, you God. overcoming a great fear. I don't want that to happen. So I want—I don't want to overstate it. Like, if I see a spider, I can usually just ignore it. It's—it's it's, the bigger the spider gets, the bigger a problem is. If I saw like a, a silver dollar-sized one, I'm gonna have a problem with that. Yeah. If it's coming towards me or jumping erratically, you can't stomp on that. Uh, hold on. What if you see a penny-sized one? Do you kill it, or do you just leave it? Hold on. What? Uh, I would probably just leave it. Yeah, what's the currency of the spider that you're worried about? 
Oh, this is bad. It's oh, fine. It's, fine. it's fine. It's fine. Uh, I have another story about a friend of mine told me about his friend who was camping one day and he woke up and uh, he was like, it was really early in the morning. He just couldn't see real well. Oh, uh, Feel this weight on his chest. Mo. He looked down. It was this giant Fuck. spider, Jesus. and he's like, "Holy crap!" Okay, what am I gonna do? He's just like sitting there. And wait, so wait, he, like, wait! Back up. No, no, no. He couldn't see very well. Well, it's the morning. He wears oh, glasses. oh! I thought uh, like he was like was blind dark. from. It's dark. A spider, is like a spider <laughs> sucking out his, his boob or apple, venom apple spider into his eyes. So he's like, "All right." Here's what I do. How I'll close? Just reach, grab the thing, and throw it. Ah. And it must have been in a cabin, actually, because he he did it really quick. Threw it. He heard it like hit the wall. Thud. Oh. And God, then right. fly back onto his chest. No, no it didn't. <laughs> no, it Shut didn't. Shut up. And he's like, you're oh, making this crap. up. Oh crap! Oh crap! Oh crap! All right, I'll do it again, and then I'll try to get up. So he grabbed it, threw it again. It hit the wall. <laughs> Flew back onto his Wait, chest. It, it okay, hit the wall. This it is stuck a on the dream. Wall. And Tim. then he's like, and then he realized that he couldn't move his other arm because it was numb, and it was actually his hand that he was throwing off onto the wall. Uh, like, that's why it kept bouncing back onto his chest. So basically, your friend is an idiot. Yeah, basically. Wait, that was true. Yeah. That's really dumb. Isn't that better <laughs> than a real spider, though? Well, yeah. I mean, Except I got. How you gonna have I got all creeped spider. out for no damn reason. <laughs> Uh, I don't like that story. I need to go That's watch Arachnophobia again. I didn't Why think would you watch that if you're afraid of spiders? It's sort of oh man, yeah. It's cathartic. It's yeah, it is kind of like I want to see Jeff Daniels like catapult a flaming spider into its own nest. Wait, it's, wasn't there a recent movie that was pretty good, like uh, Big Ass Spiders? Oh, I heard about that. I, I haven't that. seen it. Giant eight-legged freaks or oh, whatever it was. Eight-legged freaks. Yeah, I yeah. think that's it. We missed it. The David Arquette movie. Yeah. So I don't know what happened there, but uh, usually there's like a decent, similar. Just imagine the draining, the pond draining scene, except for. Mm. Uh, Maybe we could cut that in here. Yeah. Also, speaking of cutting, good to note in the remake when we get to this point in the game, we will have to switch to disc two when we start going down into the lab. That's right. I also, that was on two discs. Milestone for the replay. We are entering. The Underground Umbrella Laboratory. Ooh. Jeff Marky Fava, have you ever seen this part of the game? Well, we'll see in a, in a second. I probably have. I just don't remember. Remember this? This is locked. Um, Tightly locked. So, can't go there. That's that. So, some of some of the lab gets a little hazy for me, too, but it'll it'll come back to me like it did with the cavern. I don't remember it taking that long, though, is the benefit. Now I'm going back on those caverns. I think those were there beforehand, because Umbrella took the time to obviously make this cavern, right? This underground lab? Yeah, this is all custom This is Yeah, custom and stuff. this is like high-tech stuff. Why would they make something out of crappy rock? Well, but clearly they added the crank stuff. Well, it's also worth mo noting that... Mode docking. These, uh, the... Um... Modisk. The cavern and the, uh, the... The thing that we got to, like the the courtyard where use the, your words, Tim. So what I'm trying to say is that I don't think the cavern and that outdoor like little pool that we drained are intrinsically linked. I think that there's probably a different way to get to there from the cabin or from the the mansion. So I don't think you need to always get to the um the you don't have to go through the caverns to get. Let's to the Let's just lab. start this replay. Over. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, Tim, I'm, I'm really, really frazzled. It. I saw the armor key in my inventory. I'm like, what the hell did I? What door did I miss? So that's oh, what I started boy. thinking of. There's a zombie. Yeah, but at this point in the game, you're like, zombies. I can deal with zombies. Yeah, zombies are no problem because I got a... Boom! Oh, my... Shotgun. Tim, why did you do that? It's so he violent. He just wanted help. Tim. Oh! Hey! There's your cure. He just wanted There's help. your cure. Cure this. Yeah. That's they were just cool. coming to greet you, Tim. It's been so long that they've seen another person. Yeah, yeah. I need to be held. And final mode disc. Big bing bang bam. We're good. We're good on mode discs, everybody. We can rescue Chris. Rescue Chris. I think we'll do that this episode. Uh, I don't. I don't think so. Uh, we have all the mode discs. That's great. I'll keep that health up there. We're gonna. We're going to meet up with uh, things that I affectionately called. Uh, I called them titter monkeys <laughs> when what? I was a kid. Okay. I don't think you can tell me more. Say that. Uh, on air. Because of the sounds they make. 
That is a nude zombie. Is that a... Is that a titter monkey, Tim? No. But I think there's a zombie right here that would get me sometimes. I so was impressed just... with that zombie. He should be like a pants model or something. <laughs> Very nice. He had good form. Is there one right there? I think there's one back there. We might take some fishing to get out there. Okay, so I got three rounds. That's three zombies. Oh, boy. Well, here's two. Gosh, I probably don't even need to fight these guys. Oh, hey, buddy. But I have enough shells. Let's let's kill them. Let's just let's throw celebrate. Back in. Let's celebrate how many shotgun shells I have. One shotgun shell at a time. But gosh, he's such an idiot. I don't. You also got the better shotgun too. This Whoa, is... Oh, I saw something. No wait, is I that the saw other game? something. That's the other game. Oh shoot, it's getting me now. Whoa! Buddy. Don't look at those zombies, Reiner. Buddy, this you have a wife. Not a great. Boom! Oh, yeah. This is where we want to be right here. With me and Jeff. And I mm -hmm. Just hanging out. Let me see if I can recall how to do this. This is a good time, isn't it? It's the best time. Yeah, I'm having a blast. Oh, I'm, I'm absolutely loving this. I always liked this, too. Everything's Umbrella Brand, and you can see your hands, and she does the typing. I, I always thought this was like a really cool perspective. Like, what if this game, the whole game was in first person? In Jill's face? Yeah. In Jill's face. Remember square monitors? Uh, I do. Okay. Let me see. Copyright. Give this a shot. I think, Butts. I think it Butts. might be... Is Butts. It Starts with a B. Is mole. it Mole? Mole Man. If it's not that, I have another idea. Oh, that is pretty cool animal. Okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. I do pissed. love the slamming the fist on the yeah. table. I think it's this... I think it's John and Butts. And Butts. Butts. As I referenced before. Titter monkey. I think it's Ada, as in Ada Wong from the oh, sequel, I think. Ada. Does he like her? I think he did. Oh, boy. Oh. Oh, that's working. Boom. That's a horrible oh. password, by the way. That's not very secure. Yeah, no. Three 88. letters? Come on. Unlock those doors. Come on, John. So we're unlocking all the doors on B2. Are you sure you want to do that, Tim? Aren't yep. all the zombies going to get out? This is the one that's mole. Uh, they can't open doors generally. So that's that's the one. Okay, great. Do you actually have to do this to beat the game? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> she gave it the gun. I love that. Yeah. Pow. There's a file <laughs> that points to the password and stuff like that. So, And then we we're cheating. B3, which I think this one unlocks without anything. I forgot about all this. Yeah. There's so much game here. Bingo. <laughs> Tim, I'd just like to point out that you frequently forget your own passwords in real life, and yet you remember all these Resident well, Evil passwords. Well, given they're always a little bit more complicated than mm. three-letter words. Well, there's your problem. There's always like a smiley face or a frowny face and a weak that pops up when I try to make a password that's just Ada. This is a cool, this is not mission critical, but I'm grabbing those because I think it's going to be a cool thing to look at. Um... Tim, where are the titter monkeys? We're gonna we're gonna see him. Probably not this episode. And he then, likes to tease people. Oh, I don't know that we might see titter monkeys. Do not tease me with the titter monkeys, Tim. <laughs> I cannot take that. Are we gonna fight a snake, Tim? Um, I brought one into the office. I have my friend <laughs> oh. Jack Hanna is in. <laughs> You're not gonna... afraid of spiders. He actually, <laughs> since you don't buy spiders, he has nothing else to eat. It's actually mis my friend Jack is really misinformed, and he his idea of having you fight a. Uh, a snake is just to put a single boxing glove on the head of a snake, uh, which I didn't think was a good idea, but it, lo and behold, I think he has some sort of cartoon notion that the snake is going to coil up into a spring and then like launch just itself launch at, right you. at you. Yeah. Actually, for, they can like do this. that. Combined with our, what we were talking about, um, Mortal Kombat and spiders, we mm -hmm. should make a fighting game that's all about animals. Animal fighting? Like spiders, <laughs> snakes dung beetles, you name it. Titter monkeys. Yeah. Titter monkeys. All those titter monkeys. I always thought this was a cool little touch, like just environmental, like, hey, there's scratches there. It's probably, yeah, and then she points it's it out. Moving. But not just like anthropomorphic animals, all they, like you were saying. They're like real animals. That's that like fighting. Tokyo Jungle, t Ben. Yeah, but a fighting They've game. already made that game. No, all right. a fighting game. I like your idea, Ben. Let's yeah. explore this more in a little bit. For now, we have this slideshow. Uh, this is like a top secret umbrella slideshow. So that's where they get the name there. That's the Cerberus. 
Um, we should read the other text. From this I know. Show. Yeah, there he is. Look There's Neptune. Oh, yeah, like that profile pic they got. He probably uses that on his OK Cupid account when he was looking for. Mm-hmm. Probably not getting a lot of hits. Probably not. Single and uh, ready to mingle. There's the hunter. That bastard. Hunting for love. And there's the tyrant. A tyrant oh, in the bedroom. Man. Oh, look at those graphs. Off the charts. Blink slide. And then who's that on the right? A Tim jerk. jerk. I don't know. R-N-D. And then yeah. one of those guys is Birkin. Uh, I'm pretty sure. Is this an actual photo? or What do you <laughs> I, think they did to I make that? I don't know. That's a good question. Because it kind of looks like they could have taken a real photo of dudes and like pixelated it somehow. Yeah. Uh, you know what's interesting? What I like about that is like those seem to be like the official monsters. Um, and then everything else, I think, could be considered just like a side effect of the T virus. Like spiders, snakes, titter monkeys, none of them were planned, I don't think. And that's like a kind of a cool thing, you know, because some of those were even more deadly than the, you know, the the engineered ones, bioengineered ones. Yeah, but is titter monkey a real word or is that something you made up? Oh, yeah, they're they're called... I'm not even going to tell you what they're really called. I'll tell you after we see them. It, it can't be as good as Titter Monkey, whatever no, it's it is. It's not. Fava, uh, I got bad news for you. We're going to have to save you. Oh. Ah. Oh. I'm just going to have to We um keep dreaming about what a Titter Monkey is, I guess. We're actually, in order to save, we're going to have to get to a save room first. So, um, Will that take you by some Titter Monkeys by I any don't chance? I think so. But what I am going to have to do in order to get to that save room is reload this shotgun. So... We actually unlocked the door that leads to the next save room. This one is just a storage storage box room. So um, what I can do is I think put all these modus. Well, actually, I think we're going to rescue Chris next time. Uh, so that'll be exciting to reunite with that bastard. Um, let's see. Bastard. Let me get that going there. God, I, I don't really need that bazooka. Yeah, ditch it. Should I ditch it? Yeah. You know Put what I'm going to start away, doing? Yeah. I'm going to live my damn life and ditch that and then go magnum rounds. Oh, yeah. Oh, gosh. Oh, this is going to be beautiful. It's so good. I can already feel the power coursing through my the bullets. Um, it's like this is a cool payoff because I always overprepare and I'm always too cautious in the original. And, yeah, we're just going to go for it and enjoy the fact that we were conservative. And I can show you what happens when you shoot a zombie with a with a magnum. How many shots to to drop one of those monkeys? It's a good question, Ryder. Maybe we'll find out. Maybe not this time, though. Oh, hi, hi, guy. Here it comes. Boom! Boom. Every time, headshot. That is what the magnum does for you, and that is. One of the reasons why I think it's like one of the best video game guns of all time. Were you aiming up? No. Yeah, so it's like better than a shotgun because you could do it from a distance. Right. <laughs> Boom. I, do these guys regenerate a little bit? I think there's a lot of them. Oh, I didn't like that sound. My no, cousin, I, I remember distinct memories of my cousin telling me, that, telling me that he didn't get startled by too much, but he had to turn up the volume during this part of the game because it's pretty quiet. And then uh, that part freaked him the hell out. That like, sound? That buzz, yeah. Yeah, it was loud. There was in Dead Space 2, I think, where there's like, you're wandering through some apartments or a dorm room or something, and like an alarm clock goes off. And it was like one of the scariest parts of that game. That's and it's just an alarm clock. Like, it's those like cool little moments. That's so mean spirited. That sometimes get you. There's one, I think, in, is it in Dead Space 2, where you're working through like a conference room that has all this furniture stacked up that you have to work around, and then just a TV comes on suddenly. Yeah. I remember that guy. It's always kind of sad when you get to this room because it's the end. Yeah, it means we have to we have to stop. But the the music is soothing, soothing mm -hmm. but eerie. Be good for a spa. That's true. Um, all right, let's get that over there. And I don't need to put anything in my inventory as a reminder because I think, I guess you know, actually, as a reminder, I'm gonna load up on these mo discs. I think I can do that next. Um, no way. Mo way, did you say? Mo way. Mo way or the ho the whole way. <laughs> Stop titter monkeying around him. I'm sorry. I'll, I'll I'll quit titter monkeying around and we'll save the game, so that we can continue our adventure next time. But for next episode, that will be back to remake. That's right. We're making great progress. We had just gotten to the guardhouse. 
That's right. I, th I think isn't that right? Yeah. Yeah. I believe so. so. Next yeah. time we continue our adventure in the uh, the guardhouse, which will be which will be awesome. I think. So for all of you who've uh, stuck along with us on this journey, we'll see you in a few days. Oh, Tim. Barry, we're in this together. Jump. I thought you said we we're partners. Still, I just can't do it. I'm sorry. I don't I, understand. I have a wife. I'm a young woman in her prime. I have, a, I have a child. I'm a master of unlocking. I have a beard. Look at your forearms, Please Barry. Jump. Please jump, don't now, put me through this again. Now where are you going to go? I know you have a family. And I know that you have this weird compulsion that when you get nervous, you just backpedal into a corner. Kiss him place. already! I, I, Ma! I, I, oh! I, well, yeah. You made me do it. You made me do 